This is Mark with Magnolia Oaks Woodshop, and today I'm going to be doing another tool review. And today I'm going to be doing it of the Bosch RA1181 uh, router table. You can see it right here. And I love this router table, and I'm going to turn around the camera and show you a few of the features that I like. Okay, one of the first tools that you'll get into after a miter saw and a table saw is probably going to be a router table. And um, it makes everything related to doing uh, router-related tasks so much easier, especially for uh, cutting dados. So uh, you can see right there I've got a small dado blade on there. Um, it just makes everything so much easier. Um, and this Bosch table is basically the, the industry standard at this point because it's affordable. It comes with a lot of features that uh, are really nice to have and it doesn't break the bank. So you can see right here, I have it uh, taped off. It has a, a safety switch right there where you, if you pull that out, it won't start because it is you know, a, a tool that needs to be respected. Uh, it's a really good size and you can see that I have it mounted on top of this cart right here. I have um, a drill press, a um, sanding station, and also this routing table up here on one of these little carts that I got somewhere. And it really works out good because I can just move it around whenever I need it. I don't use it uh, every day, but when I do need it, I need it on a, um, you know, a, a nice stand that's uh, at my level. And so this, this particular router table has uh, a lot of great features that I'll show you. So first of all, when it, whenever you get it, you'll have to put together a few things, but there are some videos online that people have done. They're just awesome. I mean, they walk you through every single step for every, basically every router that you could have. Uh, how to put this together, how to get set up right, how to level it, how to make sure that everything's working how it should. It comes with this really nice adjustable fence right here, and I'll show you the back backside. Um, again, I, want, I own a woodworking business, and so I do a lot of routing, routing and I use this table often to be able to uh, bust out some uh, consecutive uh, kind of repetitive cuts on different things that I'm building, whether it be cabinets or uh, door faces or whatever it might be. It also has this shield right here to protect you uh, from debris falling um, into your eye or, or shooting up rather. Uh, this again, of course, is adjustable. It has your uh, dust collection port right here built in and it works pretty well. Uh, you definitely want to have dust collection because it does generate a lot of um, sawdust and, and chips, as you can imagine. It has a place over here where you can wrap the uh, power cable. And then it also has a uh, holder over here that's really nice for keeping your tools that you need uh, for changing out blades and things like that or changing out bits. Underneath, you can see I have the matching uh, Bosch uh, router up there. And you do need a fairly powerful router to do the things that you're going to want to do. Uh, but I've just found, you know, going with the Bosch router table and the Bosch uh, router seems to work best for me. Uh, all the other brands I'm sure are perfectly fine, but that's just what I've used. And so, again, I own a woodworking business, and so this is a uh, money-making endeavor for me. And, and so I chose this one because it was rated the most highly and it had the most features for the best uh, value. So if you're in the market for a router table, I really don't see how you can go wrong with this one. It makes things so much easier, and you can speed up your routing so much. So I uh, highly recommend it, and if you have any questions, just let me know. Mm -hmm.